Hello, my name is Robert and in this tutorial we'll finish with the simple AI uh, tutorial series. So basically what we've done in the previous videos was uh, changing the states. So now we actually want to do the code for the states which is actually quite simple. So we'll start with the idle and we'll do that by creating a custom event called idle and we'll make another one. called reset idle and you can actually not see that because I'm very far away and I did not type those incorrectly yay sorry about that typical mistake that I do all the time okay uh, no I think I got it so now we want to do a do once so it doesn't repeat itself until the reset idle um, comes in which you all understand why and then when we finish the code for this so we want the AI move to um, and we for the destination we want get random point in navigatable and get random reachable point in radius And we want the radius to be a bunch of nines. Okay, maybe that's a bit too much. And we also want the origin to be the get actor location. Okay, awesome. So uh, the pawn will be self. Oops, the pawn will be self. And now we actually want to do a short delay. And actually I just remember that you want to do a stop on overlap so um, for the delay we want a uh, new um, a new variable that we'll call idle stop uh, and between parentheses we want sex uh, yeah so for the idle stop we want a default value of 1 and we'll add this to the duration and we'll then call the reset idle okay awesome so now we have one state done so I'm going to press C and write idle so I just commented and now we want to do the chase state which is probably the most straightforward thing that we've done so far you'll see so it's chase and we just want to do a simple move to actor and the controller will be the AI controller so get AI controller in the goal will be uh, the player reference which is this and for the controlled actor we want self okay so let's comment this and let's call this chase okay perfect so now uh, we want to do the attack state so we want to do another custom event and we'll call it attack and we also want to do <coughs> excuse me another custom event that we'll call reset attack so just like in the idle we want a do once and we want to add this to the reset and we want to well, we'll do a print string to know if it's attacking us and we'll just put ouch oops wait I did not do that correctly so this is where um, your attacking code 
the code that will hurt you, that will hurt the player. Uh, that this is where it would be in. So now we're going to do a delay, and we want a new variable, and we're going to call this attack rate. And between parentheses, we want to put sex. So if we compile, for the default value, we want a default value of 1. So I'm going to add this to the duration. And after that, we will do the reset attack. Okay, perfect. So now we for um, we test this. We actually want to call the state. So uh, in the idle over here, we want to just type in idle. In the chase, we just want to type in chase. And for the attack, we obviously want the attack. By the way, I almost forgot, uh, in the change state, which is a function, uh, we actually want to do reset uh, idle, and we also want to do a reset attack. Okay, awesome, so now I'm going to control shift S to save all. Perfect. So now we can actually test this out. So I want you to play. And I just realized I haven't added a AI to to the level. That's perfect. Okay, awesome. So these green lines mean that he's not seeing us and it just played. Yay. Okay, so now I'm going to press play, and as you can see, the AI is chasing me, and these red lines means uh, that he's seeing me, and if they're uh, green, it means that he's not seeing me. So now I lost him of sight, and he's actually chasing me, now he stopped, and he's trying to look for me, and if I get close to him, okay, now he went, there we go. Oh, you'll see that out appears in the left upper corner. So this is all for today. And if you enjoyed this, this series, make sure to um, rate, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you have any requests for any videos, uh, make sure to post them to comment down below and tell us what you want to see. Uh, we also make tutorials um, and blender so make sure to check our channel if that's the stuff you're looking for so thanks for watching i really hope this was useful see you in the next one bye